Hello and welcome to more nerdy rodent geekery. Do you like text to image generation? Well, you may like cog view. Then let's scroll down and have a look at what's going on here. Generate vivid images for any Chinese text. Here we have a beautiful young blonde woman talking on a phone. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's a big Ben clock towering over the city of London. Yeah. Okay. All these, all these seem quite good. Sketch houses, all painting lion. And it's also got super resolution too. That's a sort of different bit. So yeah, you got text to image and uh, and super resolution as well. So that, that's like it's like two in one. So yes, Cogview. There it is. A pre-trained four billion parameter transformer for text to image generation in the general domain. There's a link to the paper there. They've also got a demo website there. All very good if you can. Uh, speak and type and read Chinese, all that sort of stuff going on, sort of lots of example images of, of things there, things. Yes, so that's that's the sort of image you can get out. Do expect to have a lot of shutter stock across the middle of it and uh, sort of bizarre weird text underneath. There is rather a lot of that, unfortunately, but never mind. Let's just have a quick look at what they were doing with the data set. So here they collected 30 million text image pairs from multiple channels. So there is a little bit on training down here. If we scroll down, there we go, training. Yeah, we used a subset of our data set uh, and there. So yes, there's a little bit of training information there, but given that they had a 30 million <laughs> text to image pair, I haven't actually tried training myself yet. Um, I've just been doing the generation, which is, which is good fun anyway. So uh, yes, anyway, so they had 30 million uh, text image pairs from multiple channels build a, a 2.5 terabyte new data set. I don't even have a 2.5 uh, terabyte SSD to fit all that on. I'd, I'd probably have to get another drive really to, to sort out my data set. Yes. Anyway, uh, after the data was processed into tokens, the size becomes 250 gig. Now that's not bad, is it? Okay, so you've got to have a big drive to start off with and then, then you can process it and then, yeah. But anyway, uh, the data are an extension of project. Oh, I'm going to pronounce this terribly, uh, Wudao Corpora, uh, about 50% of the text is in English, including conceptual captions. Uh, they are translated into Chinese by machine translation. Uh, in addition, we did not remove the watermarks and white edges in the dataset, even though they affect the quality of generated images, because we think it will not influence the conclusions of our paper from the perspective of research. So it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's a known issue, basically, but um, yeah. Anyway, never mind. You still get some good issues, some good images out of it. Anyway, so getting started, Linux with an NVIDIA V100 or better is what they suggest there. Uh, when I've been playing with it, it seems to use about 22 gig of RAM locally and, uh, well, 16 gig or more of uh, VRAM. And uh, you've got options for a local install, which is what I'm going to be doing on this video, or Docker, which I'm going to completely ignore because I don't use Docker. But if you do use Docker, there, yeah, option two. Environment option two, they have a Docker image. So if you want to do the Docker image, you can do that as well. Awesome stuff, eh? So let's have a quick look at getting this installed locally because yeah, it is it is quite a thing. It is quite a thing. Uh, yeah, there's there's lots of models you have to download. And uh, yeah, get, getting these from the original source here, from this project here, is, uh, is, is quite difficult when uh, you can't speak or read Chinese and you also have to you try and download this and you go oh yeah it's got a resource and then and then you have to do a sort of login and, and pick your thing and you send a text and and then you try and log on and then not not very much happens so I haven't actually been able to download them from that link as yet but luckily there is a Google Colab there two contributors successfully set up cog view on collab so if you go and have a look at the collab that has lots of information and in sort of crack open the cells a little bit and see what's going on but yes you, you can see where they where they downloaded the files from and uh, that is where we're also going to download the files from too because getting them from them from there is is difficult it's difficult that was the most difficult bit honestly about setting this up getting these files um yeah <laughs> So thankfully, someone has already done all the extra hard work for us there. So, right. Anyway, let's get into it. I am, of course, 
as always, using Anaconda for my virtual Python environment. Anaconda and Python 3.9. So Conda create minus minus name cog view. I've called this because I am the master of original names. Python equals 3.9. And of course, if I can spell activate properly, that would really help. So yes, Conda activate cog view. There I am. I'm in my cog view virtual Python environment. Now, there's a lot of things to install for this. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so obviously the first thing is PyTorch. PyTorch, yeah, that's that's nice and easy. We can do PyTorch. We can do PyTorch, can't we? We can go to the PyTorch. We can go install. We can go stable 1.9, Linux, pip, Python, CUDA 11, because I'm using an RTX 3090. And there, 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 I can just copy and paste that. That gets me PyTorch installed. Great. That's, that's PyTorch. Okay, now there's an extra bit as well we're going to stick in here. Deep Translator. This is just so that we can take English into Chinese later and uh, LMDB and also I'm doing a Conda install uh, for this one rather than a pip install just because it's easier than doing the pip install. Okay now you also need Apex as they mentioned down here so uh, if we've got first install PyTorch yet yeah, we've done that now Apex Apex they tell you how to install over here you basically you'll need that copy pasta there so that's you're basically downloading Apex there CDing into the Apex directory, running a pip install, and then just popping back again. And we're also installing Deep Speed. They don't mention Deep Speed anywhere in here, but you do need Deep Speed as well. Uh, and again, I got this from the uh, the Google Colab notebook. So pip install uh, GPU stat, and then we're also again doing much the same thing. We get cloning Deep Speed, downloading that, building that, and and then we're done almost. Then we can pip install the requirements.txt from here, which has quite a few things in it. Have a quick look at the requirements.txt. There you go. Now that that one was a little bit tricky. That's why I installed that with Conda earlier. So I do that first. So then when you do the pip install minus our requirements.txt, you don't get lots of strange errors. And then yeah, yeah. So yeah, the, the Conda install is the easy way to do that. Then you need these downloads. So all these downloads here. So you've got CogView base. That's the main one that you're going to need. So that's the pre-trained text to image model. Uh, there's also uh, an image to text model as well if you want to do that and a super resolution model which I'm not going to look at uh, warning it runs slow as well so yeah if you want to do some super resolution upscale your models there there you go there's there's the super resolution one as well but just doing the text to image today because yeah reasons anyway so the uh, the first one you can download the uh, this one here so this one download the image tokenizer that one's fine again you can just do your copy pasta there that will that will download w get there you go that one works so it's it's this cog view base, which is the difficult one. So luckily there is this URL here, the i.eu public AI cog view cog view base. If you do a double get of that, that will get you that almost impossible to get otherwise cog view base file. Excellent. So there you go. That's that's uh, it, it's quite a big setup to go through. Apex deep speed, uh, yeah, PyTorch, a couple of extra packages, the deep translator, then the pip install requirements. Uh, .txt, yeah. Anyway, that is, of course, all down in the description. So you can just copy paste it and it will it'll pretty much all go through. It will pretty much all go through. Now, before we uh, before we look at running this, we'll just show you the deep translator as well. So if you want to do a deep translation, there we go. Oops, we'll paste this in here. So uh, there. So target is Chinese text. I can write text in Chinese now. There you go. There, there is the text. So that that's the sort of thing that we're going to be dealing with. Uh, or there is a little Python example as well. You can have a look in the Google notebook there. So this is uh, exactly the same thing. So we're importing there. I've also thrown in our pars as well, just so that I can throw in some text. And uh, there we have, you know, really simple way just to translate some stuff into text. But um, we're going to put this in a text file later. So yeah, there's the, there's a couple of ways. And of course, you can use uh, the good old uh, Google Translate as well, if you want to just copy and paste that. So plenty of ways to get your English into Chinese. Uh, it's the, I think, uh, simplified Chinese. It gives you a couple of options. Yeah. When you do Chinese, you go Chinese. It's got simplified or traditional. The simplified one is fine. Okay. All right. Let's have a look at running this thing then. Right. So text to image generation. Write text queries one per line into input.txt and run this. All righty. Okay, so let's have a little go at doing this. I've I've got some uh, some text in here already. There's my there's my input text. 
yeah. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you're not sure what any of these say, let, let's just translate some of this back, shall we? Oops. I think those are, those are full stops, those little circles. I am so bad at copy pasta. Come here. There we go. Copy. We go that way. And put that way. And there we go. I am doing things like Japanese cartoons, female face demon. They, they seem to do this um, full stop thing a lot on here. So you've got oil painting, lie and sketch houses. So I sort of uh, copied the, the same way of phrasing things there, putting short sentences and uh, yeah, seeing what will come out. So there, there are some some things that I'm going to be running. <laughs> and uh, that, that's pretty much all you need to do. So you've got this text to image uh, script here which uh, basically runs this uh, python generate samples.py with lots of uh, yeah your, your standard settings there and you're just basically running this one here so input source is input.txt and output path is going to be samples text to image so if you want to change things in here go ahead uh, batch size may be something that you want to change uh, depending on the uh, the vram of your card if you've got a low vram card probably dropping this batch size down to 1 will help you run that in low VRAM situations. Okay, so let's let's just run this, shall we? This is this is going to run really nicely now. <laughs> so there it is. So there we go. It's uh, no training data specified, and uh, this will take a few minutes actually. So uh, I'm going to modify time and uh, show you what comes out at the end. Okay, and there we go. It has finished doing its thing. Let's have a look at these samples text to image. Here we go. Oh, we've got some cats, but I, I, I don't know what the actual thing is going on here, do I? So let's just take this and convert it back the other way. <laughs> I, I, I do know, but I'm going to have to show you. Here we go. So there, a tabby cat sitting on a red cushion. Look at that. That's pretty close, isn't it? That's pretty close. So there's two there for some reason. Two there for some reason. All right. How about this one? Any ideas what that is? Yeah, that, that doesn't look very close to my actual prompt, but but never mind. Never mind. This is, in fact, <laughs> there we go. Glass with a mouse. And um, yeah, well, we've got a, a sort of mug there and a bowl. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's 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 try this one. Ooh. Put this in here. Ah, okay. So Japanese cartoons, female face demons. Ooh, ooh, that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I've got a quite a weird looking face there. That's yeah. We've, we've got a bit of demon going on. I like that one. I like that one a lot. That's that's just weird. That's just weird. Yeah, yeah. And and no shutter stop. We've got a little bit of text at the bottom there, but. Yeah, three three out of four ain't bad. Let's let's have a look at this one then. What's this one? <laughs> it's funny having to translate it back into English, so I know what's going on here. Uh, Japanese oil painting, nerd rodent. Mm. Oh, I seem to have left the other text on there, don't I? <laughs> Haven't I? Anyway, so there is is it's meant to be a nerdy rodent <laughs> of of some sorts. I'm not even sure what any of those are. That's that's like a sort of, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to go there. All right, let's just have a look at this last one. And there you go. You, you may be able to guess what the text is for that one. Yes, it's a it's a sketch. It's meant to be a sketch of, uh, I think it was a bedroom. Yeah. So got a very, very bedroom data set looking bedroom there. And, uh, and that one's a bit more sketch like. And that one's just quite abstract. So, yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Anyway, <clears throat> cog view. Bit of a nightmare to install. Uh, but uh, once you get there, it's uh, it's pretty weird. Yeah, you can you can definitely uh, generate lots of images. You will have Shutterstock across it quite a lot of times. Uh, but uh, yeah, as you saw, quite a lot of times you you also won't. So there you go, Cogview, lots of fun. Apache two license, which is always nice as well. Generate uh, lots of images from your text. So that's all from me for now, and uh, I'll leave you with this Cogview to play with for yourself. Rodent out.